<laughs> no, I'll tell you again. I'll tell you again. Good afternoon YouTube, well, it's us again, this is day 9 of the Fringe Adventure and we've just been to see the first show today, which is John Hegarty's... <gasps> no, I'll tell you again! Hello, my name is John Hegley. I'll tell you again! John Hegley's... You know, I'm really rubbish with names. John Hegley's Drawings of Dromedies and Other Creatures. I can't believe you did that. I know. I'm rubbish, I'm just rubbish. But anyway, uh, time now. John. Yeah, sorry, John. Um, we were actually meant to be interviewing John tomorrow, but the way that some of our technical issues have gone, we've, we've given up on doing any interviews this time. Not nothing to do with you know just interviewing John because we had another couple of others lined up, but we've given up on them. Um, uh, and the time now is two thirty. The show runs from one o'clock onwards, um, and it is at the Summerhall Secret. Summers Hall Secret Courtyard. Um, it's Summers Hall this year, if you've ever been able to move forward, is different. You end up going around the back of the building. There's lots of hours, luckily. Uh, we were slightly too early and um, it was all sort of locked out. Lock, we were locked out for a bit uh, and saw a few other people when they were turning up. Um, but generally, it works pretty well. And it's an oh, open, yeah, it's, fine. it's uh, um, a big tent. Uh, in the open, so once you're in this chair, you are allowed to take your mask off. Okay, shall I just shall I just do the, the yeah yeah the, yeah. So yeah. this is the this is the what the the blurb the blurb from the fringe website. So drawings of drum drum a little, 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 little drawings of dromedies and other creatures included in the spectacle are puffins. I don't see any puffins? No, I don't remember the puffins. Cats. Yep. Yeah. We had cats. cats. Yeah. Frogs. Don't think there's any frogs. Don't remember frogs. Uh, French dogs, we had dogs. Uh, elephants, we had a whole section oh, on yes. elephants of we three, had... and we had choices to make which was the better elephant. Um, and armoured creatures. Oh, I don't remember any armoured creatures, mm. but I might have missed that. Yeah, I'm trying to think. A combination of pieces and species, and a batch of selected, and a, and a batch selected from the extensive back catalogue. Now, um, so. John sort of started by, um, actually he started by giving us a rather stern reprimand for not clapping loud enough. Oh yes. So he went off stage and we had to go through the whole thing again and we passed the second time through. We did. Which, um, and then he referred back to um, an anthology which actually went right back um, and he read us one piece from the 1980s. And yeah, it was his first Fringe in 83 and 83, I think he said. Yeah, well, yeah, I think he, he actually referred to that um, piece from the anthology from the 80s. Oh, right. It was a song um, that he'd done, I think, when he they were first there in 83. Yeah, right. yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. But uh, So yeah. He, he read us a few poems yeah. to start yeah. with. Yeah, which were very amusing um yeah um and i mean they're lovely to read but to have john actually reading them himself is a treat yeah it um, is yeah. yeah it really is um, and his reaction his, great his interaction with the audience was just absolutely superb all the way yeah, through yeah. i mean we were just giggling and laughing all the way oh, through definitely very gentle yeah you know nothing yeah. But I mean, we did. He did say we had the F word, which was focus. He told us about focus, and I can't remember what the C word was. It was, <laughs> it was commitment. commitment. That was commitment. it. Commitment. So we had to be focused and committed, yeah. uh, because when he when he sang the songs, um, he would get us to sing part of the refrain, uh, and so we always had something to do when it, when the song came along. Yeah, and then right at the end, we had actions. Oh yes, we did. Yeah. And he'll, Ian failed miserably with my, the octopus. I mean, it was okay. I think my octopus was, was uh, that looks like an octopus. No, to me. but there was there was this involved. I mean, I, I did, and I had to stand up and, and, and give and, my octopus and to demonstrate. Me, and demonstrate. I thought, I thought, no, that, no, that was fishes. I mean, well, have a look. That's an octopus. 
yeah, but it wasn't the way that John had shown it okay. to Okay, yeah, well, no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but that was very funny. It was funny, yes. Yeah. Um, but the whole thing was absolutely delightful um, and very, very amusing. Um, yeah. Yeah, we, we got, did get gentle reprimands throughout. We you? did. He kept, yeah. he kept us all on our toes. Mm. I mean, um, yeah. there was the odd song where we didn't, we didn't do it right, so he stopped us and started us again. Yeah. So, um, but it was a yeah. wonderful mix of poetry, songs on the ukulele, and an eight-stringed instrument. I think it's a mandolin, but look, it looks like a guitar because yeah. it's eight strings. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it was... A great guitar shaped yeah, mandolin. And it was a com he he accompanied himself with yeah. that. Um, then we had a series of drawings that were projected Lift, yeah. onto the back. Um, and that was a mix of drawings that he'd done um, plus photographs that he had maybe added things to and then there was a story attached. They, they were family members. Yeah. Um, where his grandfather, where he'd drawn, and I have to say, I didn't think his drawing of a parrot on his grandfather's shoulder was particularly Well, I wasn't good. going to describe because that right. takes away. Okay. Yeah. We're trying very hard not to actually say some of the things because... You'll find out when you go. It takes away the impact yeah. um, and of the fun of it. Um, but there was, I think we're allowed to say, uh, there was a drawing that we saw the longest, which was of his family lounge in yeah, Luton, in Luton. Yeah. yeah and that gets referred to yeah um, in fact there's a song about it isn't it and there is a song yeah. um but it's a lovely mix of um yeah stories poetry drawing music all very very funny now with his very very dry yeah wit. now he's only at the fringe for four yeah four <laughs> He's not doing very well today, is he, guys? It's day nine, come on. No. <laughs> I mean, yesterday, you thought Sunday was, you thought Saturday was Sunday. I did, I did. And I thought yesterday was day seven. Um, it's only there for four shows. And looking on the Fringe website, they're all sold out. Now, the reality of that is check with Summer Hall booking um, as to whether there actually is any spare bookings. We were talking to a gentleman in the queue, and we, as we've said, we're going to do a separate video. We might have to do it on that when we get back to to Yorkshire about bookings and apps and all of that sort of thing. Uh, but he was saying that he'd uh, he'd found booking with Summerhall Direct was pretty straightforward. Um, there were issues about booking single seats or as an individual. Because he yeah. had to, he was on his own, this gentleman, and he, you have to, if you're going on your own for some of the venues, you have to make sure that they only, they know that you're going to be on your own, so you'll be mm. sat. So they basically, Summers Hall seems to lay out for what they've got for the audience. So if they've got three people, um, then they'll put a, a gap in between all of you. So, that you, mm. you know, they're, I mean, yeah. and glad, glad, good to see that they're taking it seriously. Um, so, but currently, all of John's shows here are sold out. Having said that, I think he's touring it. Because um, he said something, he was doing some stuff for the Labour that's right. Party, and he, he did have a gig in Walthamstow, which has been, been rescheduled and things. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll, I'll put John's website in the description so you can check on the website if you're not going to Edinburgh or you miss it, to see if you can get to see the yeah. show while it's yeah. running. It's definitely worth seeing. Oh yes, it's oh, yes. a really good, a nice, gentle hour of humour that flies yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, great fun, great fun. Uh, four stars for me. Definitely four. Strong four. Strong four. Definitely a four star show. Well done, John. Sorry about the interview again. Uh, I will be. I'm going to drop him an email with this, so okay. he, he will get to see it. You know, okay. um, but um, an excellent show, and get to see it if you can. And we're, we're going to see... Um, we keep getting this wrong, don't uh, we? This is Smile. We're here at... Actually, I have to say thank you to the Space Guys again, who have become our second home from home. Um, we've been coming every morning, and everybody knows us by now, just to use their Wi-Fi. Um, but we are here to see one of their shows at... I don't know what I'm doing with um, 
just just again talk among yourselves for a second while I yeah, bring it up. Um, yeah, we keep getting the title wrong, so it's smile. It's smile. Yeah, there you go. Smile like you're happy at four thirty. So we're here for that, uh, and then we're going to go and do some tai chi. Yeah, this role. So we'll see you next time. So. Do all that thing with subscribing and clicking the little bell icon if you want to be notified when we post. Uh, and we'll see you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.